Let's quickly go over the process of direct deamination. It's when a serine, I mean any, any amino acid, is converted into um, pyruvate. That's what direct deamination does. Any amino acid is converted into pyruvate, which is our precursor. Um, sorry, I just crossed that out. Amino acids to pyruvate. Basically, here you've got a, an example. Here's serine. It's divided into three stages, by the way. The first stage is H2O, adding H, I mean, take away H2O. Second stage is just change of hydrogen. And the third stage is adding H2O, but this time taking away NH3. So here you've got your amino acid. This is serine. You've got your COOH group. You've got H2N, um, NH2. And here you've got your R group, which is CH2 and OH. Nothing new. You're taking away H2O. You're going to take one H from the main chain and OH from the R group. Then you're going to be left with H2N, C, CH2, COOH. Why? Because the hydrogen from there is gone. The OH from there is gone. That's it. Now, here, we're just going to take the H2N and the CH2 that's left over. Because remember, the only thing that's missing here is literally the hydrogen that was here on this, like here, it was there. Okay, that's missing, and the hydrogen, the OH is missing. Now, this the NH2 is going to donate a hydrogen, and it's going to go down here, okay? So you're left with HN, you're left with C, you're left with COOH, and here you have CH3. Now, what happens here? Here, we're going to say we add H2O and we take away NH3, but the only thing that happens is this entire structure stays the same, except the HN is gone, and it's replaced by a double bond O. That's it.